Soon after the earthquake that devastated Haiti, a sprawling camp of makeshift tents sprang up in the Champ Mars, a park right across the street from the crumbling presidential palace in Port-au-Prince. Even though this camp is surrounded by government offices and national monuments, more than a week after the earthquake, the newly homeless here say little aid has reached them. Sometimes they give us water. Yesterday, we went to the palace to get some water. French authorities say they will soon provide water and sanitation here. But one form of aid has already reached the camps, although not in the way it was intended. Large blue tents were sent as aid to Port-au-Prince City Hall to be distributed to families in the camp. Instead, the tents were stolen and are being resold for a profit. Getting one was almost impossible. I needed one, so I bought one. How much did you pay for them? About $125. jean Johnny Desomé, a political science student, says his family spent their savings to buy one of the tents from some local people walking around the camp carrying a pile of them. We are obliged to buy one because we have little kids with us. They cannot sleep outside. The mayor stored the tents here in the Minister of Culture's office right across the street from the Champ Mars because City Hall was destroyed in the earthquake. On Thursday, when the tents were supposed to be distributed, looting broke out instead. Security guard Leroy Lama says a mob scaled the gate outside and charged the office. They took them out and came back in, over and over. Lama says there was food and more than 100 tents piled here. Within minutes, all that was left was this bundle of tent poles. With the local government in disarray, the mayor and his staff could not be contacted to confirm how many tents were stolen or where they came from in the first place. But residents camped out in the park suspected that civil servants were involved in the theft. People working at the office there, I don't know them. When I asked them, they told me there are no more. Afterwards, I saw them giving them away to their friends. The answer, the... Alexandre Joseph, camped out right across the street from the minister's office, says Haitian police joined in the looting. They gave the tents to the mayor, and the police went inside and took them away. Security guard Lama says that government office workers did not take any of the tents, but the police did. The police took some of them. They didn't take a lot but they took some of them. The mayor's tent distribution plan has worked in some places. A member of the mayor's family, who declined to appear on camera, says 100 tents were distributed from their house to people in their neighborhood. The Times counted more than 20 tents sprayed with the words Port-au-Prince City Hall in a three-block area. If you have a national catastrophe, the government should take charge first. Before the foreign aid arrives, you should be able to do the minimum, at least. We haven't even seen a bag of water from them. Corruption was already rampant in Haiti before the earthquake. Now, with the city government difficult to even locate, some citizens of Port-au-Prince don't trust their own leaders with the aid they so desperately need. Don't give it to the Haitians. Give it to the foreigners. Let the foreigners give it to us. If you put it in the Haitians' hands, we'll never get it.